Test, test, test. Hello there, gravy babies. And hello there, welcome back to our third Nostalgia November video, where today we're really bringing it back to the olden days. That's right, we are playing the Random Country Placement mod, which I was gonna do last year, but as far as I was aware, I couldn't actually get a working version of the mod that was up to date. So, I was very surprised to see that there is one now in working order, and uh, oh boy. Yeah, I, I remember being very, <laughs> having so much fun with this last time. So uh, yes, if you've been enjoying Nostalgia November so far, feel free to leave a like and hit the subscribe button down below to keep up with the rest of the month's mods and uh, we're just gonna get straight into it. Oh my god. They named France after a biscuit. Damn, I saw Productions, you lied to us. This isn't a random world, this is just the game. Well, I'll have you know Billy Big Bulls that actually, look, Vietnam's on the map and Egypt. That's not normal, you stupid idiot. Yeah, uh, that's right. I, I've made a whole video about what if uh, Egypt, Vietnam, and Indonesia were all free at the start of the game. That's this whole video. So yeah, essentially what happens is when we go into the game, uh, everything will be completely randomized, which is uh, it's kind of the whole title of the mod. So you thought you'd put two and two together, but nah, you're out here asking why Vietnam's in the- So as far as I'm aware, it does not matter who you actually play as. Uh, you can click as anyone in the game, and when you go into the randomization, uh, well, it's gonna get a bit messy. Uh, so I'm not too sure who I'm gonna play as, honestly. Uh, it does not matter, like I said, so I kind of want to play whoever has the best name in game, really. Oh, I completely forgot it was called that. You know what? We're just going to play Red China, which isn't communist, it's just red. It's China and it's red, not communist. Don't get it confused with Red China. Different scenario. And as soon as I load into the game, we're going to get our first impressions of our start position here. Hopefully nothing too terrible, but knowing our luck from Country Roulette, it's probably going to be the North of England. Oh, that's going to get some people in a tiffy straight away. I just realized that... <laughs> Well, the Argentinians have landed in England. All right, we're not going to zoom out just yet. I, I'm, I'm okay with our starting position. Not the worst, not the best. Um, we also go ahead and we're going to do random technology. So hopefully we get lucky with that too. We got some guns, some heavy cruisers, logistics, pretty good. Motorized, also artillery, pretty good. Submarines uh, and destroyers, level two. Okay, that's all some good technology. But uh, now we're just going to zoom out and assess the damage of the world right now Coasters Hermanas there's uh, definitely some interesting stuff going on here uh, Greater Albania okay yeah I'm getting on board with that one already Scandinavia just got like 50 countries inside it that's gonna turn into absolute mess and a half I imagine uh, North America you know you got the Guanzi clique in charge of the uh, well Canada and a bit of uh, these states down here you got Belgium Greece India and then Kingdom of Hungary which is a Goddamn monster. Uh, I just realized that the Chinese Empire, uh, led by Dong Peng, we are fascist immediately, and we have pretty much no resources to boot, whereas our neighbors both have some pretty good resources. So I'm pretty sure the way that the uh, the game actually works in terms of everyone going to war is that we now have to do these justify claims, which gives us claims on our neighbors, and I think the AI will be doing the same. So the messy world that we are watching will well, it'll get even messier. Uh, now, I also feel a lot weaker than my neighbors, so this is going to be a very interesting look at what's about to go down. But the mighty nation of the Chinese Empire shall rise and conquer the British Isles under our mighty leader, Dong Peng. Uh, now, originally, I was going to go ahead and just sort of wait around, but I think the best way we could do this is to immediately rush one of our neighbors and, well, hope for the best, really. Okay, I got our first general, a Mr. Cheng Wu. Um, I mean, you, you don't really look like a Chang Wu, but we'll go with it. Um, 
I'm really take back what I said about rushing one of our enemies. Uh, Argentina seems very prepared. Alright, okay, we've already got everyone justifying on each other, and I think we're gonna have to go ahead and try out our luck with Mr. Ambrose Hood, and uh, hopefully we could beat him instead. Alright, scratch that, I just realized that they're actually justifying on Venezuela for some reason, so I think now might be our time to actually struck. Now, uh, our army is definitely very bootleg, but that's kind of the name of the channel, really. Uh, I've certainly been a bit more cautious than I should have been, because uh, I merely trapped the whole of Argentina's army in Wales. That's right. I'm sure there's nothing more joyous to an Argentine man to uh, imagine his last days being in Birmingham. Now, unfortunately, it does not matter if I have kabunga their army into the depths of Wales, uh, that's because Argentina actually has a bunch of Sweden that I didn't even realize, which means we can't capitulate them. So instead, we're gonna go ahead and invade Estonia. Oh my god, they're so close to capitulating to God. Damn it, I, we can't even get over there. If we had a navy, I might try it, but we do not have a navy. Yeah! Uh, now, there's also about 50 Kabillion wars going on right now. Such interesting ones as the Indian-Greek War, the uh, Bolivian-Irish War, the Afghan-Budanese War, the Dutch-Danish War for the most irrelevant country, and, uh, of course, how could we forget about the Australian People's Republic declaration of war against Colombia. Shush. Something you never really think you'd read, really. All right, I really need to go ahead and build a spy agency too, because every time I declare a war now, I have no idea what exactly I'm what attacking into. Oh yeah, I, I just threw some artillery on a support company, and it, it, it's tearing through all these non-artillery peasants. Damn. I didn't even realize, apparently, uh, Estonia owned Okinawa. Uh, you know, I think I'll skip out on that one. You can keep it, Estonia. Your existence lives on. Next up, it's time to take out the Scumatic Scott American. Oh, they're very confident attacking me in the mountains. <laughs> well, uh, you guys are making this incredibly easy. Bam, there he is, the Empire of the Thundercross. And here comes the breakthrough. I oh, got a delicious encirclement there and we are moving our way through Scotland to uh, teach the Americans to mind their business. That's, uh, that's literally the majority of their army right there. I think we're having no resistance up here in Scotland. Uh, here's hoping, unlike Americans in real life, we don't have a problem with them uh, conceding defeat. Uh, Alright, we've got uh, the island of Great Britain under our control now, but I I really need to I need to end Argentina. Right, we've got a naval supremacy with uh, just crappy little submarines, and we are going to make or break this. Oh, God, this is definitely going to be a close one. We are struggling to take the port the warp yes oh my god right perfect so now that we actually own all this land i'm converting all of our military factories or well not all of them but a big majority of them back into civilians so we can actually build some stuff and i really want to build a proper navy not just well i i don't even, i'm pretty sure once that goes in the water it doesn't come back up all right in terms of resources we do actually have a lot of aluminum and uh rubber so i think we might actually go for some planes and uh next up we definitely gotta take out mexico i'm sorry Felipe, but just like your hold on Northern France, you really need to let go of that hairline. So, uh, in case you are thinking about playing this mod, make sure you go ahead and turn the factions off, and then also turn these two things off, so that you're not constantly spammed when the AI creates a faction, and then it immediately gets destroyed through the, uh, event, otherwise you'll be constantly seeing these things pop up, which will slowly drive you insane. So yeah, if you just click these two off, uh, they'll go away where they belong, in the depths of hell. Oh, no, the game's getting pretty damn laggy now, uh, mostly because the entire world is at war with each other for the most part. Oh, apparently the Mexicans have been playing the neutrality card. They've not been to war with anyone yet, which uh, is a shame for them, because as a Chinese man from Yorkshire who's built an empire in the British Isles, uh, well, not a lot makes sense in this world, does it? That's right, welcome to the continent, boys! Oh god, the Mexicans actually have a proper navy, which is obliterating my submarines, which are pretty much those Confederate submarines, if you remember those from the history book. Ah, there we go, more land has been taken, we've got a ton of equipment, and they don't actually have much resource-wise, but uh, more guns, you know, that's more conquering. Oh no, no, they got the Thunder Dragon Empire. God, I hope the Thunder Cross Empire still out there 
somewhere. All right, the Tibetans seem like they have somewhat of an army going compared to Mexico, so I'm interested to see what's gonna happen here if we can push or not, because I can't, oh no, no, we're fine. Tibet sucks dick. Plus, you know, as a proud Chinese man, it's only my, you know, God-given right that any universe, Tibet should not be allowed to exist. Tibet? Ah, my friend, you're incorrect, that is Merely North China, North Chinese Germany Benelux. All right, our next enemy on the border is the New Persian Empire. And uh, they're pretty scary because they're big and all over the damn place for some reason. Although uh, I am kind of impressed that the Swiss, who started with all of Italy, have actually somehow still holding on against the, uh, the Persians right now. But the Persians are also at war with all of Africa. Oh. I thought this would be a lot harder than it appears to be. Uh, uh, my troops are just absolutely tearing through them, although that might change when we get to the impenetrable fortress of the Persian Alps. Oh my god, just look at all the people that they are at war with. What a coalition. Oh, look at that, my first carry is done. Uh, I have no planes for it, so right now it is a giant hulk of scrap in the bay, but yeah, that's pretty to look at, I bet. There goes another one down, and our uh, our empire's looking pretty damn nice now, but I realize that someone, did, well, actually, a lot of people declared for me. Oh, Lord. Uh, okay, so some sort of <laughs> Eastern European coalition, and then America. So uh, I went ahead, and I created a faction for me and my puppet Persia, and I I wanted to combine both of our cultures, really. Uh, well, not Persia, but my my inner Chinese culture and where we came from, and that is um, the People's Republic of Yorkshire. So uh, instead of bothering to uh, you know fight our way through Scandinavia into Russia, we're just going to do the smart thing and blow up Lithuania in a sort of blitzkrieg type deal. Oh well, this is going to go. Oh, it's going no, it's going incredibly well. Around the magino. Oh. No, my friend, straight through the Lithuania. Oh god, that has put us quite literally on the border with the entire horde that is the east of pretty much everything. Got all of Asia at war with us now, which is great. And uh, we are holding, but the Bulgarians are pushing quite hard. I I'm just looking for the casualties in whatever war this is. And Greater Albania has had 4 million casualties. They're not having a very fun time, are they? All right, we're getting pushed back quite hard, but I got some new recruits under General... Uh, Chen Jiang and Dong Jin. Goddamn Costa Rica tried to pull a sneaky on me. Sorry, my bad. Costa Potente. So I've just been leaving this on in the background, five speeding for a while, and I'm finally pushing into Bulgaria after I realized, um, well, I've caused them 12 million casualties. I, I don't know where you are getting more of these troops from. You know what, we're gonna spice this up. I have been putting off inviting anyone to my faction, but uh, I feel like the time has finally come. Damn. The People's Republic of Yorkshire really has gone too far. That's right, Bulgaria. Welcome to the, the Chinese Empire, which is uh, people from Yorkshire. It's complicated, I know, but you'll fit in. No, oh, no, I just noticed that Finland has slayed the great beast of Greater Albania. I want to die. We have arrived. We are home, boys! We have marched from Yorkshire across the channel through Europe onto the steppes and into Asia where we are conquering our land back from the... the, the Spanish, you know? I always knew Finland was a true successor to Rome. There you go, almost 10 billion years later, we've done it. We're home, everyone. There you go. I personally want to, um, I, I say this a lot, but I do want to jump off something very high after playing that up until 1949. Um, probably the worst thing I've ever done recently. Uh, but yeah, that was a random country placement mod. As you can see, the Great People's Republic of Yorkshire has done quite well in its endeavors. Uh, yeah, it was another cool mod to check out and see how it's going. Uh, it's, it's pretty much the same as I left off, I imagine. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool to play it. Uh, it was fun to come back, even if it took me hours to record this. You guys have no under... You don't know, you don't know how long this, this stuff takes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe button down below and carry on our adventure through Nostalgia November where we revisit old mods and games we have played on the channel for a whole month. But uh, yeah, this was fun. And uh, well, get ready for the next one, shall ya? Yeah.